and we are here as a health department team uh, to bring to the attention of our communities and our population in Kirinyaya County uh, in that uh, we have had uh, cases of uh, cholera uh, in our county and therefore we need to bring information to them so that they can be aware of what uh, they should be expecting to do. I want to mention and say that uh, cholera has been uh, uh, in quite a number of uh, counties in, in the country in the recent past, in the last one year. And uh, Kirinyaga County, we have done a lot of um, awareness in our communities. And until uh, last February is when we got a case or some few cases from Moya. And we learned and we realized that uh, there were important cases from our neighboring uh, counties because our neighboring counties have had uh, cases of cholera. Uh, currently now in uh, our Kirinyaya County in Sagana, we have uh, had this particular month about seven cases of cholera and uh, we have been able to identify the village which is the culprit that is in Gasharu in uh, Kirinyaga West and also uh, another case came from Kwavi in the same uh, sub-county. Uh, we want to say that uh, we have launched a massive camp campaign in terms of uh, prevention and control of this uh, particular disease in our communities. Our county health, uh, I mean our county health department and the leadership of the community uh, of, of health in the, in the county uh, involving the public health officers and uh, health care workers all the way down to the community health promoters they are out there now giving information to our population so that we can control and prevent uh, escalation of this particular disease. As I've said, we have uh, seven cases. Two of them have been admitted and uh, four are being uh, um, followed up and we are also following up the contacts and we have been able in our own doing uh, issued aquatabs for the treatment of uh, water sources for our communities. Uh, most importantly is to speak to our people and tell them that uh, hygiene must be uh, done well in terms of uh, hard washing, in terms of cooking food well, in terms of uh, making sure that uh, the waste or the, the, the fecal waste is taken into uh, a toilet, that is uh, the, 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 the fecal matter, and also uh, to make sure that uh, um, they report any case that they may find as a suspect in the community. What we are saying is that uh, not only those who are, are street uh, uh, preparers of food, but also them that have also hotels, they must have to up the game. They must have to uh, improve in terms of hygiene. So much so that uh, the food that they are giving people may not be food that is going to be contaminating. The water that they are giving people must be clean water in terms of either being boiled or... Um, or water that is already treated and stored well. And also, uh, as you have put it, uh, the street vendors, we want to also tell them that it is important for them uh, to note that now when we have uh, this kind of a situation that we do not want to, to escalate, that uh, it is important they will find our people within their areas of operations and they will be advised accordingly. Uh, we want to say that uh, the symptoms of cholera that uh, each person should be out to look for is that uh, a person suffering from cholera is a person who has a diarrhea, which is a rice watery stool, and therefore it may also include uh, vomiting and you know stomach discomfort. Those are the cardinal signs uh, of cholera that each and every person should be able uh, to watch out.